Uh, Scoot, so uh, what are some of the things you guys have been able to, to focus on or, or, or look at during these couple off days? Um, I think to continue what we've been doing the last few days, last two games, uh, and just building on that with the togetherness, um, still figuring each other out, having more space on the floor, um, and just sticking to our techniques, sticking to our the, the little details. We just went over the little details today and really lock in. So. What do you think has changed from now to, to now from a week ago when you guys had that game against Memphis? Like, you know, then you come out and you have the two games that you mm -hmm. had against Minnesota. Like, what, what, what changed for you specifically? I think it's our togetherness um, for the most part. As you can see, like the first, like we had a good few games for, to, to, to start the season or whatever. And you see we was together. Then we kind of lost a little bit of trust in, in each other. Then we, we starting to build it back up. So that's all that is. Um, and we just got to find a way to, to be consistent with that, to be consistent with sticking to each other, um, trusting each other still, and um, up up or down, you know what I'm saying? Wins or loss, to just continue to uh, trust in each other. Is that just one of those things that's going to happen over the course of a season, especially for a young team like this? Yeah, definitely. I think that's um, – I wouldn't even think it, say it's a, it's a young thing. I think it's, it's a basketball thing, man. Um, you know, when shots not going in for somebody, then somebody else like, ah, oh, I want this and I want that. So, um, but when everybody plays free and plays together and, and plays like nobody cares where, where the shots is coming from the floor, as long as we all get a stop on defense and we run to the floor and then everybody eats, you know what I mean? There was a, a lot of talk about the team having like an honest, constructive conversation after the Memphis game. What was your role in that? And were you talking a lot? Were you listening a lot? Both? Uh, I think my role was just hearing everybody else. I, know, I already know um, what I had to do um, on the court wise and, and off the court wise. Just trying to be, a, um, be more vocal as a point guard and, and stuff like that. But um, I think that our main thing was to, to continue to stick together, like I just said. And that was the overall message. That was the, the message was just to have players, coaches collide and, and be together. And then after that, you've seen. Um, we, we were able to get wins. Well, and, and in that regard, too, does it help you guys maybe going forward, maybe be more honest with each other, seeing yeah, that, like, yeah, hey, exactly. we, we had something that actually turned out well. Exactly. Us when we did that. Exactly. Um, like, we did something like that last year, but I think this year it's, a, it's on us to enforce and to hold each other accountable and to be honest with each other when, when, I'm not, when I don't touch the ball a few times, I need that. You know what I mean? So that wouldn't happen, but I'm um, just using that as an example yeah, yeah, or whatever. So. Yeah. What do you think you've evolved recently in the last couple of weeks? Chauncey talked about you growing in many different areas, but what have you seen from yourself? I think games are slowing down, um, reads are slowing down, and um, I think it's just a lot of space on the floor to me, for me to be, to be who I want to be. And I think I've been able to, to, to just step it up on defense as well, um, to lock in with, with, with my personnel, um, and just playing hard, man. You know, that's something that I always done, and, and I think that's just going to make up for a lot of mistakes that happen. Has it helped you to watch first and then come in and sort of pick your spots? Or? Nah, I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's basketball, so. But when I watch, I, I see what we need out there. So that's, that's something that um, a lot of people don't think about. Like, as people come off the bench, um, you see what's going on in the game. You see what they need out there, and you're able to kind of contribute that. And the fact that I've been starting the last two games, I've just been trying to um, initiate that, initiate the contact, initiate the pressure, and, and initiate the ball movement, you know, keeping it clicking. So, How has Delano's energy helped this team? Crazy. It's crazy. Um, I mean, his energy has is, is, is always been there. You know what I mean? Just people just recognizing it now. You know, he's always in practice, just locking in, um, being him, you know, getting to the cup, hitting shots, making the right plays at all times. Um, DB's been, been huge for us. It's just coming off the bench and spark, you know what I'm saying? Um, so. To be, to be a special talent. When you drive the lane in practice and you see Donovan, what, what kind of decision do you make? Oh, me? I mean, I'm going to go right at D.C. every time, but <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. But uh, nah, man, D.C., oh, he, that last game, I was just in awe the whole time. You know what I mean? I almost felt like a fan out there. So, man, D.C. making huge strides right now. Um, Rick of the year, in my opinion, but huge strides, man. Um, a lot of bigs in the league can't do what he do, so. Did you ever think during the game, why do they keep going at him, especially in the fourth Nah, I don't, I don't I even thought, think that, because like, they, they, they trying to test him, you know what I'm saying? And um, as a rookie, they try to test you. And some of the players around the league, they try to, you know, be physical with you. But D.C., man, I recognize that breed. On that note, on that note like, how does the, the better, or not better, but just the center play from all three guys, them doing really well, how does that make your job easier? 
um, makes it easier for everybody. It makes it easier for us to, to go out there and play good basketball. It makes it easier for us to, to make the right plays, not force anything. Um, and that, that's how basketball is supposed to be played, freely, open-minded, sharing. Uh, it's a team sport, so just moving the ball, get it popping.